Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about Sumo products and texturizing finishers. The first thing I'd like to talk about is our Sumo products. So, Sumo products are pretty neat. Our Global Ambassador Laurent Philippon went to a Sumo match and saw how they were making the wax to put in the Sumo wrestler's hair. And that inspired him to create all of these different products, so that is why they are called Sumos. Uh, so, the first thing that I would ask myself when trying to figure out what product to put into your hair or your guest's hair is do you want a matte finish or do you want a shiny finish? Then you can eliminate two on either side. The Sumo Gel and Semi Sumo are shiny and they sort of have a shiny look to them and they're more colorful. And then the Sumo Clay and Sumo Tech are more black, white, and gray, and these trend more on the matte side. So that makes your life a lot easier when trying to pick out which one to use. The, sum the Semi Sumo is a high shine, low hold product. This is great for updos. It's also great for more of a PC look, um, and it's coconut oil based. The next one is Sumo Gel. So Sumo Gel is high shine, high hold, and forgive me because I don't have the actual product, kind of like the cooler younger sibling of our old school barbering gel. So, so Sumo Gel gives you a very high shine, high hold um, on dry hair. On wet hair, it's going to give you a wet look and it never dries to a fully super dry feeling. It's more of a paraffin type feeling when you put it in the hair. Um, and the other cool thing about this one is it's water-based, so when you go to wash it out, it just melts out of the hair. The next two are gonna be Sumo Clay and Sumo Tech. Sumo Tech has been in our top 10 sellers for as long as I can remember. This is your go-to, so when in doubt, just use Sumo Tech. Sumo Tech is a medium hold with neither a truly matte nor a truly shiny finish. It's kind of just like your hair with a pomade in it. Um, so medium hold, a satin finish. The next one is gonna be Sumo Clay. So Sumo Clay is to true, true matte. Um, it gives you a dusty, bulky, um, texturized finish. So if you're somebody who maybe has hair that collapses when you use a traditional pomade, this is a really good option because it gives you the illusion of bulkier, more texturized hair. The application for all of these is exactly the same. I always say start with a fingernail fold, really emulsify in your hands, and then mess it into the hair and restyle. Uh, it's going to give you the best control and the best ability to build the style with these. And you can always add more, and that's why I usually say a fingernail is a good measurement. Any questions about the Sumos, leave them in the comments. But now I'm going to talk about our texturizing finishing products. And then, forgive me because I don't have a product, but the BB gel is included as well. So, BB gel, old school barbering gel. It's neat because it doesn't flake and it doesn't have the same alcohol content as something like, say, an LA look. So it's just a higher quality barbering gel. Um, it does finish with a shine. So this is really great for editorial work and I have had people blow dry this into the hair to build volume, especially for say like wedding styles. If you do not want a shiny finish with a gel, then you go to texture. So texture is a gel that gives you texture. So if you just put it in say the hair wet, um, instead of that shiny finish you get from a barbering gel, you're gonna get a lot of texture from it. You can also blow dry this in, especially if you're somebody who really struggles with volume and really struggles to build texture into your hair. This is a terrific, terrific product. It's very versatile, but it's also very editorial. The next two are going to be Grooming Cream and Brilliantine. Grooming Cream, actually these are both some of our original products. This one, Brilliantine is actually the very first. Grooming Cream is very versatile. You can use it as a finisher, which a lot of people do more so now, but you can also use it to blow dry into the hair. This product was built after we were using hand lotion to provide smoothness for the hair. So we decided to create an actual product instead of just using hand lotion. So water-based, you put it in your hair, um, really emulsify it in your hands, and then really work it into the hair, um, almost like you're massaging it in. The hair will look damp, but then eventually it, your hair will drink it up and you'll just be left with a really nice texture and definition. Um, you can also put this in damp hair. So say so you're, some, you're a person that wants a pomade but doesn't want the waxy finish of a pomade, you just wanna put it in wet, 
I would say just towel dry the hair the best you can and then put it in and this was sort of like our original don't blow it to me it has a little bit more elasticity than a don't blow it um, and then this guy brilliant team I use this pretty much every single day and it was literally our very first product it's castor oil based I like this personally because something like a hairdresser's invisible oil is too heavy for my finer hair but my hair is also super dry so I need some kind of oil but an oil that doesn't um, give me that sitting on top of my hair feeling because I don't need that. This will soak in with the castor oil so it actually will help heal my hair but then it gives me a lived in next day and it seals everything down um, and it just makes my hair feel really healthy and it smells really good. It's small because you only need a little itty bitty bit uh, and you emulsify and again just mess it into your hair. So if you have any questions like I said leave them in the comments and I appreciate you watching. Have a good day.